The 23rd Street Diablos is a Filipino crip gang from Seattle, Washington. Named after the 23rd block in Beacon Hill, a predominantly black and Asian neighborhood in South Seattle. One of their rivals in the 1990s was the Bad Side Posse. BSP is a neutral color green rag gang. On March 23, 1994, a Diablo was chased by BSP. He would escape the chase and inform other members of the encounter. Nine Diablos decided to confront BSP at Ballard High School. When the Diablos arrived at the school, words were exchanged and gang signs were flashed. The Diablos eventually got out of the cars and a minor physical encounter ensued. Diablos left when police came. The Diablos went to a member's house where they listened to music, ate, and initiated a new member into the gang. One of the members obtained a gun. The Diablos agreed to return to the school to show that they were not afraid of BSP. Diablos would open fire into a crowd of students standing outside. A witness noted that the shooter had a blue bandana over his face. Diablos fired at least six shots. One female victim died from a gunshot wound to the left side of her head. One of the most emotional judgment days in decades. A fatal drive-by shooting 20 years ago left an innocent high school student dead. Now, the man who shot and killed Melissa Fernandez is facing a judge to be sentenced again. Brian Ronquillo entered a King County courtroom, a middle-aged adult, 20 years after he was convicted of murdering 16-year-old Melissa Fernandez in a gang-related drive-by shooting outside Ballard High School, here to be sentenced again in her murder. But the courtroom was packed with his family members, leaving no room for relatives of Fernandez, so the entire proceeding had to be moved. Ronquillo was also 16 in 1994 when he shot and killed Fernandez and injured another student. Both were innocent victims. Ronquillo was convicted and sentenced to nearly 52 years in prison. After the shooting, the Diablos walked around the mall and played video games. The next day, they chopped up the murder weapon and discarded it into the lake. It was never recovered. The Diablo trigger man was sentenced to 58 years for first-degree murder.